Hello dear students. So my name is Shahid Rasool and currently I am a first year MBBS student at GMC Srinagar. So today in this video we are going to talk about how to remember the most volatile points in your animal kingdom that's which animals have internal fertilization external fertilization which which are oviparous which are viviparous uh, which are having indirect development and which are having direct development so all these are confusing these are very much difficult to remember but i have uh, made a special arrangement of all these uh, points so let's move into it so as all of you will be seeing here that uh, we have to remember that which animals are dioecious which are monoecious which are having direct development and which are having indirect development similarly which are uh, having internal fertilization and external fertilization and uh, lastly which are oviparous and which are viviparous what you have to remember is that that all are dioecious means the sexes are separate male and female sexes are separate they are not lying in the same uh, organism so they are separate so everyone is separate including the nares means nares is also dioecious but except so the exception i will be writing here will be what they will be monoecious so what you have to remember is you have to remember only the exceptions here uh, whatever exceptions i will mention here you have to remember only those that i will be writing in green so just look so the animals here are porifera tenophora plate helminths earthworm and leeches so these that are uh, written in uh, green are monoecious so what you have to remember is only these animals that is porifera tenophora plate helminths earthworm and leeches these are monoecious and the rest will be dioecious so moving on to the next that is uh, which are having a direct or indirect development you have to remember that uh, all are having uh, indirect development except that i will be mentioning here so the organisms which are having direct development are reptiles aves mammals osteichthyes that uh, you can remember by the mnemonic ramu or ramo whatever uh, you can pronounce it and ascaris ascaris is not mentioned in your text but still it is very important you have to remember that ascaris is having the direct development so what you have to remember is only these animals that is reptiles aves mammals osteichthyes and ascaris these are having the direct development and the rest organisms will be having the indirect development so let's move on to the next all organisms are having internal fertilization except so let me mention those so tenophora echinodermata hemichordata osteichthyes and amphibia all are having the external fertilization and the rest animals will be having the internal fertilization so it is easy to remember that only tenophora echinodermata hemichordata and osteichthyes amphibia they are having the external fertilization and the rest will be having the internal fertilization so moving on to the last that is which are oviparous and which are viviparous so you have to remember only the viviparous animals because uh, the rest that are mentioned in our text will be oviparous so what you have to remember is only the viviparous animals so let me mention those so chondrichthyes and most of your mammals are they are viviparous and why i am mentioning here the most of mammals because uh, there is an animal that is called the ornithorhynchus or duck billed pelotypes so it is an mammal uh, which is oviparous so rest of the mammals are uh, viviparous but this pelotypus is oviparous so what you have to remember is that chondrichthyes and most of the mammals and in mammals there is a duck billed pelotypus that's oviparous so uh, the rest egg laying uh, these animals will be uh, oviparous they are including uh, mollusca or stake so you don't have to remember these you have to remember only the uh, viviparous that's chondrichthyes and most of the mammals and in the mammals you have to remember uh, that pelotypus is the oviparous uh, the last point i want to mention uh, here is that that's given in your text is that in ascalminthus and in orthopoda there can be either direct development or indirect development so you have to remember the line of ncrt that is there is uh, either direct or indirect development in ascalminthus and orthopoda so this completes your dioecious monoecious direct development indirect development internal fertilization external fertilization and the oviparous and viviparous animals so i hope that this video has made sense uh, it it had helped you to some extent so best of luck to all of you do remember me in your prayers all the best